Today's video is about NVC update cases document and emails they are working on this week and also we're going to talk about September 2021 Visa Bulletin Board. If you something want to know just stay tuned and I'll be right back. USA Monda. Good morning, good morning my beautiful people. This is John from USA Monda. Welcome back and thanks for watching. If it's your first time on my channel as always, welcome here. My goal is to help newcomers, people who are new here in the United States of America, permanent resident, and also U.S. citizens regarding the immigration questions. Once in a while, we talk about different topics, and also I give advice to newcomers to the United States of America so they can stay out of trouble. It's very important. But today's video, like I say in the introduction, is about NVC update. Cases documented email they are working on this week. You know, I update you guys every week, and especially for some of you guys. Uh, this video is for some of you guys uh, who don't have a chance to check NBC update or who are new in, and you don't know exactly how the process works. You are new into this, okay? So, if you petition for your relative, let's say you petition for your spouse, you petition for your children, you petition for or your brothers and sisters your parents so once the case is approved by uscs because you're going to start with uscs uh, even if your relative lives overseas or lives here united states of america you're going to file your r130 petition with uscs so once the case is approved okay it can take time if you're a u.s citizen you file for your relative uh, especially immediate relative, well, it can take like a month or two, ten months in some situation, even six months sometimes, in order for USCIS to approve the case. Okay, but if you petition for your uh, siblings, well, it can take uh, a little bit longer. So once the case is approved by USCIS, uh, USCIS will send you an approval letter. Okay, and then after that, what's going to happen is USCIS will send your case to NVC National Visa Center in case your relative will need an immigrant visa to come to United States of America. But if your relative lives here in the United States of America already, your case gonna stay at uh, USCIS and uh, USCIS will send you a notification so the relative can adjust his or her status. Okay, so now let's say your relative will come to United States of America on immigrant visa. Once MVC receive uh, the the case, the petition case, uh, they're gonna key in all the petition information in the system. They will create a visa case for the uh, visa applicant, and then uh, they will send you a welcome letter. You know, the welcome letter. In the welcome letter, you will have instruction regarding what you do. You know, how to uh, start the immigrant visa process, uh, and also you will have information regarding. Uh, uh, case number and invoice ID, which you're going to use to log into our NVC system called Computer Electronic Application Center. Okay, so now yesterday, uh, NVC announced on the website that they are working on cases they received from USCIS on August 17. Okay, so like I say once on uh, the key all the petition information, they will contact you. Okay, so if you are really on uh, let's say u.s uh, citizen and um, you receive your approval letter is more than 60 days after you receive your approval letter from uscis but nvc didn't contact you yet you can reach out to nvc to see if there is a problem because sometimes they forget to send you a welcome letter okay so now you know let's say you receive your welcome letter you log into nvc system what you're gonna do you the petitioner you're gonna pay the fees Okay, you're gonna pay two fees: uh, immigrant visa fee and also affiliate support fees. Once you pay those fees, you're gonna be able to start the immigrant visa uh, process by um, filing a uh, DS uh, two sixty, which is a uh, uh, immigrant uh, uh, visa application. Okay, so you're gonna uh, fill out the form. You're gonna submit some document. You, the petitioner, you're gonna submit some of your document. And also, the intended immigrant will submit some of uh, his or her document called civil document. So once you pay the fee, you submit the document. NVC will review everything. Okay, they will review everything. So yesterday, they announced on the website that they are reviewing document they received from you guys on June twenty third. 
So once they review the document, everything is fine. There is no mistake. You didn't send like an incorrect document. You didn't pay incorrect fee. And uh, NVC will uh, notify you saying that your case is documentary qualified, meaning that now it's time for you just to wait until there is a uh, any of your appointment availability at the U.S. consulate where the intending immigrant will go for any of you, okay? So a lot of um, you guys are waiting for any of your appointment letter now. So you won't be able to get your any of your appointment letter until NVC is able to schedule any of your appointment for you. And also, one thing you have to uh, keep in mind is that the U.S. consulate is the one that will tell NVC that, hey, there is a spot here you can... Uh, schedule any of your appointment for these people and the interview appointment are scheduling based on when your case is documentary qualified and also based on priorities people who are immediate relative are on top of the uh, priority list and people who are not immediate relative are on bottom like uh, let's say f4 category or dv law visa app uh, applicant those people are on the bottom but it doesn't mean that uh, the u.s consulate are not scheduling any of your appointment for those people okay so just be patient and then the third update is regarding emails some of you guys will send email to nvc asking different questions uh, maybe why your uh, case uh, um, maybe why they are not able to schedule any of your appointment for you or maybe you ask a question how you can expedite your case and stuff like that well nvc announced on the website that they are responding to emails they receive from you guys on august 5th so make sure you monitor your emails so you don't miss any emails coming from NVC National Visa Center. If you send email to NVC, it's been maybe uh, three three weeks or four weeks or whatever, and you didn't receive any response, well, you can send another email. But if you send an email like you wait like a week and uh, you didn't receive any, anything, don't just keep sending emails. By doing that, it will delay they respond to your uh, initial emails okay so guys are uh, now let's move on to uh, how you call it on uh, visa bulletin board so i can show you september 2021 uh chart you know the date for filing chart and also the final action date chart okay guys on uh, let's talk about september 2021 visa bulletin board so this one is gonna be for family sponsor preferences, okay? So for this category, we have an uh, F1, uh, which is on uh, unmarried sons and daughters of US citizens, okay? We have um, the second category, uh, which is on uh, F2A, F2B. So before F2A, um, we have spouses and children of permanent resident. We have F2B, which is uh, unmarried sons and daughters, uh, 21 years of age or older of permanent resident. We got F3 category, which is uh, the third category. F3 is basically married sons and daughters of U.S. citizens. And the fourth category, which is uh, brothers and sisters of adult U.S. citizens. Okay, so now let's move to the date for filing on uh, chart let's see what is going on so this is date for filing okay for some of you guys who are new here on date for filing chart is basically it's from that's when uh, your i want to petition is approved okay when your i want to petition is approved means that you it's time for you to start the immigrant visa process in case uh, uh, your relative will come to the United States of America on immigrant visa. If your relative is in, in the U.S. already, that relative will adjust his or her status, okay? So the priority date has to be current in the date for filing chart before you can do that. Or when the priority date um, will become current, uh, USCIS or NVC will contact you to start gathering all the documents to start the, the process, okay? So over here, as you can see here for F1 category, uh, for F1, Philippine, the date in the chart, which is like cut off date basically, is on uh, April 22nd, 2015, Mexico, August 1st, 2000, India, May 15, 2016, 
um, China, mainland born, and then uh, the rest of the country of the world, except on these uh, four countries, have to look in this chart. Okay, most of you guys only have to look in this chart. Uh, in case uh, you are from China, mainland born, India, Mexico, Philippines, you have to look at this chart over here. Okay, this is F1. So if your priority date is before this date, let's say over here your priority date is April 20, uh, 2015. It means that it's time for you. It means that the priority date is uh, will become current because when it becomes current, you will see C in the chart. C C C means that there is no waiting time basically. Okay. So let's move to F2. F2, we got F2A here. So F2A, Philippines is June 1st, 2021. And the rest of Mexico, India, China, mainland born, and the rest of the country of the world, same date. Okay. So those are the priority date. What's the priority date is before this date? Well, uh, you should, and, and USCS or NVC should contact you. Okay. All right. Let's move to B2, I mean, F2B, what I'm talking about. F2B. Uh, F2B Philippines October 1st 2013 Mexico October 1st uh, 2000 uh, India uh, on September 22nd 2016 China mainland born the rest of the country of the world same day okay for F3 category what we got here F3 we have um, your Philippines October 1st on uh, 2003 we have Mexico September 8th uh, 2000 uh, we have um, India, August 22nd, uh, 2009, China mainland, and the rest of the country of the world, same thing, all right? And then F4 category, which is the, la the last category for date for filing here. Uh, Philippines is going to be February 1st, 2004. Mexico, June 1st, 1999. India, January 1st, 2006. China mainland born October 1st, 2007, and then the rest of the country of the world October 1st, 2007. So that's what we have here in uh, date for filing for September 2021 visa bulletin board. Now let's move to final action dates. So for final action date, basically that's when uh, your uh, green card uh, application will be approved. That's when your case will be documented to qualify. And then you're going to move to the next step or wait for a visa interview or, or wait for or interview in case uh, you your relative uh, lives here in the United States of America. Okay, that's, that's what uh, the final action date is about. So once your priority date is uh, current or will become current, or uh, your priority date is, is uh, prior, um, is before the cutoff date in the chart, well, uh, NVC or USCIS uh, will contact you, okay? Again, if it's current, you will see C means that there is no waiting time. You're just going to move forward, all right? So over here for F1 category, for date for filing, we have Philippines. Our cutoff date is March 1st, 2012. Mexico, January 15, 1999. India. October on uh, December 1st on 2014 China mainland born and the rest of the country of the world same thing let's move to F2A uh, category so F2A you can see here F2A is current okay it's current you see see over here meaning that look, these guys are gonna wait for a visa interview they're gonna get a interview app appointment letter and then uh, go to the uh, interview okay so you know a lot of people are in line to get those on uh, uh, the interview or later so it's gonna take a little bit longer for some people because you guys will get any of your appointment based on when your case was documented to qualify okay let's move to f to b so for f to b we have um let me see here we have on um, philippine october 22nd 2011 mexico march 15 2000 india september 22nd 2015 we have uh, china mainland born the rest of the country of the world same date for f3 category for final action date what we got we have um let's see here we have a uh, philippine june 8 and 2002 mexico may 15 1997 india november 22nd 2008 China mainland born, the rest of the country of the world, same thing. And then finally, we move to F4 category for final action date. We have Philippines, uh, August 22nd, uh, 2002, Mexico, February 8th, uh, 1999, 
India on September 15, 2005, China mainland born March 22, 2007, and the rest of the country of the world, same thing, March 22, 2007. So basically, that's what we have for September 2021 visa um, bulletin board. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys love it. Learn something from it. If you know somebody you think might benefit from this video, please share with that person. If you like the video, you already know what to do. Click the like button. If you want to support this channel, uh, well, you can uh, click on subscribe button or you know buy some of uh, our t-shirt we have available at USA Mondo Shop. The link is in the description below. If you want to see more videos like this one, all you got to do is uh, click on the bell. Once again, my name is John. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. USA Mondo.